There is no doubt that first-person shooters are one of the video game genres that have changed the most throughout the years. From Wolfenstein 3D to Doom, which are the common ancestors of first-person shooters, to Half-Life, which first incorporated storytelling into the genre. And finally, to the Call of Duties that never stops coming. And since first-person shooters are now mainly focused on multiplayer, games such as Counter-Strike, you have a reach, a speed, and and, 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 and I'm pretty sure I cannot actually say that. Battlefield and Call of Duty have never been more popular. But what if I tell you that the most played game of all time by player count is not your Call of Duty, it's not your Battlefield, and it's not your Counter-Strike? What if I tell you that Oh, I know, I know. The most played game of all time, the most played game of all time is Counter Blocks. Counter Block is the best game of all time. Is that Little Jimmy? Little Jimmy, what the fuck are you doing, man? I'm recording. Now that I've gotten rid of that little piece of shit, let's talk about the most played game of all time then. The game is called Crossfire. This game is made in 2007 by a Korean company called Smile Game. This is basically their first big hit. Now you might be surprised that this game is actually the most played game of all time. I still am. Like, this game looks ass old. It looks like it's made from the Gold Source engine. And just for those who don't know, let me give you a quick rundown of the games that were released in 2007. I am Andrew Ryan. And I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. So yeah, jokes aside, this game mainly found its success in Asia, especially China. Well, the reason that such a poorly made game can gain such popularity in China is that in the early 2000s, the government had restricted games from overseas, so Chinese gamers at that time can only play Counter-Strike and PC cafes and nothing else. And by the release of Crossfire, Tencent decided that the company will distribute Crossfire in China. Now at that time, Chinese gamers are really happy that a new FPS is coming to China because they, they uh, you know, play too much 1.6. So you might be saying, Ibony, there must be a reason that this game is, you know, that much popular than any other game. Like, even though the visuals are really bad, maybe the gameplay is really good. So I created an, an account and I jumped into Crossfire China. So this is Crossfire China. After I click off a few boxes full of ads, now I can finally access the main menu. Uh, what is this? This looks horrendous. It looks like they just slapped a picture of a um, police officer, I guess, and a bunch of ads. And they say that th that's the UI. And uh, there's a lot of game modes here. Um, there's deathmatch, um, bomb defusal, and there's also a party mode. Imagine this, alright? A first person shooter have a mode. Where it's basically just Fall Guys. This is my fever dream. Oh yeah, and let me just say that I saved the worst for the last. Zombie Infestation Mode. Now, this mode is kind of like um, a Left 4 Dead multiplayer mode. Where there's um, survivors and there's zombies. But the problem is that if you're a zombie, you're basically dead meat. The map is super linear. There's only one lane to, to the, for the zombies to rush the survivors. And the survivors have guns. So that means that we will just get mowed down every time. And not to mention that after a period of time, the remaining survivors will become heroes, which are armed with deadly grenade launchers that can kill most of us in one hit. 
And did I mention that there's only one lane for rushes? So that means that they can just hold a choke point and just fire their weapons at us and we'll just die right away. It's not fun! Oh, by the way, since this is a free-to-play game, say hello to our favorite worst friend, Microtransactions! Now this changed the game from a uh, COD-like, a uh, Counter-Strike-like, I guess, game to a pay-to-win. I mean, you can buy a freaking auto-sniper with grenade launcher. Well, you're probably asking, why haven't I heard of it in the West? Well, you will hear about it really, really soon. As it turns out, Crossfire will be remade into Crossfire X exclusively for Xbox, and it looks like it's marketed towards the West. And as an added bonus, there will be a single player campaign, and it's made by Remedy, the people who made Max Payne and Alan Wake, which are both fantastic games, so it has potential, and I'll do a review, like, eventually. So I better leave things off at that, and if you enjoy this kind of content, please like and subscribe, and bye, bye, you know, see you next video.